So hi, this is Dr. Jim Anderson from Anderson Center for Chronic Pain and Neuropathy. And as you can see, I'm just getting home. I'm in my study. Uh, and I want to talk to you. It's been kind of cold out, so I just got home and it's been a long day, about 8.45 in the evening here in Colorado. But I want to talk to you about restless legs. And I want to talk to you specifically about how people come to me and how they're able to get their restless legs reversed. But not so much how that's done as much as how they find out about this because I think it's truly, truly interesting and for a lot of you I know you're still I guess you could call it kind of hiding in the bushes you're afraid of kind of coming out and let people know or it's just difficult for you to talk about it because it's truly almost an embarrassing thing you start to even question your own sanity you begin to question if this is real and other people question you too and for both of these patients one was today and one was a day or two ago they both had husbands, I think very loving husbands, but yet I think they're kind of skeptical about, hey, come on, is this really that bad? And so uh, <clears throat> one of them I actually got talked to today, but uh, with the wife and helped him to kind of see what was really going on with, with the wife. But the point I want to make with this is people come to us from all, uh, from all different means. <clears throat> the lady today was an example, somebody that just really had researched about me. Uh, she came in, uh, and I was at the beginning, you know, just kind of doing my normal talking with her. But, you know, she already looked up my research. <clears throat> she already looked up on the Internet and saw uh, that we have a peer review paper. Uh, and so she was a nurse, and she knew already quite a bit about it, and it really made sense to her. So she had already researched about me. And uh, like her husband said, if she would researched him as much as she would researched me, uh, maybe they wouldn't be married, <laughs> but, uh, but nonetheless, that's how she found out. So she had been looking into this for maybe a year or two. Very interesting. Okay. Now, polar opposite to that had another lady coming in, <clears throat> a younger lady that, uh, kind of wrote off this restless leg, didn't even come up in the conversation. She was referred to me by another doctor because she had chronic pain on the bottom of her foot. And they were assuming that she had plantar fasciitis. In fact, they wanted me to give a second opinion about should she have surgery for plantar fasciitis because they'd exhausted all the conservative treatments. And uh, the pain, again, was on the bottom of her foot. A lot of it was in the heel, but it also was in, on the entire aspect, bottom of the foot, uh, entire aspect of the bottom foot. And she even said, hey, you know, I get, I get quite a bit of numbness sometimes when, I, <clears throat> when I'm running or working out. And I said, do you get cramping in her legs? And she says, oh yeah, I really get cramping up in my upper calf. And I said, do you know, by chance, uh, do you have restless legs? Oh my gosh, yes, I have restless legs. And she never brought it up to me because she, like a lot of you, wasn't being listened to. She said, doctor she had talked to just kind of wrote it off like no big deal. I guess she just can't sleep, you know, and it really wasn't ever confronted. So she was delighted. So it's almost <clears throat> like a situation where I call it being blindsided. <laughs> People come in with, you know, problem A, and just in listening to them and discussing with it, then with it, they, they actually reveal, they, I guess, come out of the bushes and say, hey, man, I've got restless legs. Can you help me? And so that's where we're at with her. So uh, just two different polar ex opposite examples of how people come to us. And uh, some of it's just coincidental. And I always like to think there, you know, things don't happen accidentally. <laughs> And it happens for a reason in many cases. And I think that's a, a really cool thing when that happens. Uh, but for other people, they've really been more methodical, researched it. And uh, when the time's right and they feel comfortable about it, they come on in and, and have me check them out. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say tonight. And uh, hopefully have a good evening. And if you like this kind of content and want to learn more about how we can reverse your restless legs, uh, please subscribe to our channel. If you, and I'd really appreciate it if you make some comments about this kind of content. And we'll keep trying to educate you. And again, please subscribe and, and, and give me a like. Give me some five stars if you like this kind of content. And hopefully we'll be talking again soon. So thank you for watching.